I'm in the old Escape from Tarkov, and I wanted to share a little little tip here that I came across as I was fiddling around with the profile. So first, let's just, um, just in case you didn't know, let's make it sort of a basic, a, we'll do some beginner and advanced stuff. So if you didn't know, you can make an action set that will work automatically when you switch into like an inventory or a menu screen. Basically, you know, I made the action set. Manage action set. Select. When the cursor is shown, go to menu. When the cursor is hidden, go back to default. Or if you had a bunch of action sets, it could be the previous one. Like, uh, if I did something like this for Arma, you know, when I was in my flying set, I would want it to go back to my flying set, not back to the default infantry. So that that's that. But for this, I'm just having it go back to default and then OK. You can't have it show you action set notifiers for this because this is supposed to feel more integrated into the game. So you're not going to get a notification change. But one way that we can know, what I would usually do when I'm first setting it up is put like if, like that. So I always have my gyro haptic off. Well, for the menu set, I would set it up to high or something, you know. So now I have no haptic, and now I can feel the haptic. So I know I'm in that menu set. And now, one thing too before I go into some tips is this will not always work. It's not consistent, particularly with games that have custom cursors, which, <laughs> you know, this is the exception to the rule because this has a custom cursor. But I've had quite a few where it just the game Steam doesn't recognize this custom cursor as a mouse cursor, so it doesn't switch. So it's something to play around with, but don't put too much time into it until you test it, because it might not work. But for this one, I was surprised that it actually works. So, with that, I know it's working, so let me turn that haptic off. But one little thing that I figured out in here was... Yeah, it was this. The start press. So when this is a regular press, and when this is a regular press, this. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> not cool, not what I want, not intended. Which, I mean, it works if you tap it, but if you just do like a slight, like a little too much of a hold, it goes crazy. But one little thing I figured out was putting putting the go into inventory menu whatever as a start press. And then I put I was fiddling around with all that, which is probably dependent per game. So make that a start press and then in the menu one make it a release press. So now I hold it. It's not not doing it. And a sort of... Let me turn that off. Kind of an unintended benefit or frustration, depending on how you want to look at it, is... Let me turn that off. That'll turn it into a, a hold, also, if you hold it in too long. It's going to take it off. So actually, I wonder, can we manipulate that? What if we make it a... make this a regular press? No. Nope. So yeah, you really you want that to be a release press on the menu. So yeah, it works. But then if you do a really long hold, it's going to exit you out of it. That's why I put the, the start delay and end delay. So it's holding that in a little bit longer. But if you if you crank that up all the way, there's... It, you reach a point where you're 
you're, you're introducing a lag is what you're doing because it's delaying the actions. So there's a, if you crank that up all the way, there you'll notice that it takes a while before it goes into your inventory. But that was, you know, just to, just enough to hold it. Take that back off. So it only turns into a hold when I hold it in for a very long time. And it doesn't strobe like that. So that was just some random, peculiar little thing I came across through, you know, like, I really, it was just stubbornness. I wanted to figure out how to do it, so I kept pushing it until I could get it to work the way I wanted. Just testing, like, the start does it a little bit, but not... It's not going to be as noticeable as it was on that inventory, so even that I could... Probably do. Let's try that as a release press. Hold is bring up the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that fixed that. So in the menu might function, you know, just as a tip, always do release presses when you get out of inventory or menu. Like, that'll keep it from strobing, stroking out like that. So yeah, that's, that's all I got. I just wanted to share that little, little thing I figured out with using an action set as a menu mouse cursor. So, all right, that's all I got. I will see you around.